Hi, my name's Richard Grant. I'm an Australian and I uh, was born on the 15th of November 1928. I didn't get a very good education. I left school at the age of 14 and uh, worked most of my life on a farm in Australia and then went into the logging industry and uh, saw milling with bulldozers and old trucks and old machinery. Uh, I've been married twice, four children of the first marriage. I have seven grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. Uh, my awakening onto this spiritual path came when I was about 57 years of age in 1986. Our son Geoffrey died of leukaemia, leaving a wife and two children, one and a half children, and uh, I asked but why. And uh, I went through the churches, searching and searching. All my life I realised I wanted to know the reason why, the cause of creation, what, what, makes, it, what makes the wheels go around. And in my search, the penny dropped. The answer was within me. And when I found the answer there, it was like as though I was reborn again to a whole new way of seeing life. And doors opened that never opened before. I came across Walter Russell's study on the philosophy of life in about 1995, 94. Prior to that, I was introduced to the Unity Church and from that, I made leaps and bounds with my understanding, particularly of the Beatitudes and the Sermon on the Mount. I just loved it. And then when Walter Russell's philosophy came to me through the Divine Iliad, it just like I was coming home with a rush. Then Clark's little book about the man who tapped the secrets of the universe, I would have to say was the book that set me on my way. And I began practicing this philosophy. And um, as I called me in bondage, did I realise that I need to do more letting go of? I read Neil Walsh's book on new revelations and he was saying there that the churches ought to have a look at their dogma and let them go their old belief system. And he said it wouldn't do any harm if we each of us had a go at letting go our own belief system. And I did this with myself. And as I let go, it was astounding, the shift that took place. I remember the statement my father had made when I was a child, a young boy, when he made a speech, and the only speech he ever made. He said, when it's all boiled down, nothing matters. And the old Jack Potts, who lived next door, said, Bert, he said, that's providing the sun shines. And Dad said, but Jack, that don't matter either. And that was the icing on the cake for me. So I started living this philosophy where nothing matters. I ended up writing a small book about it called Nothing Matters. And I have been living that philosophy now for probably four or five years. And I got rid of all my ailments. And I had many. At the age of 57, they wanted to put me in a wheelchair. And that where I would be pensioned off. And over a period of 20 odd years, I've overcome all those ailments and am now enjoying excellent health at the age of almost 80. I haven't been to a doctor for 20 years and I have no medication, I have no aches or pains. I feel as though my whole life is just beginning and this awakening we're on now, I feel we're on a wave of transformation in the world today and it's awakening from within man himself.